First thing I do when I assume control of a building is to inventory all the mechanical equipment to find out what my capacities are and I conduct interviews with the custodial staff and the program staff to find out what their actual operating hours and needs are and I try to match that so that we have energy efficiency only running mechanical equipment when it's actually needed. When I first came to the building I noticed that the uh, rooftop exhaust fans were running 24 hours a day 365 days a year. I was doing a building walk down with one of the custodians as I did my inventory, my physical inventory of the mechanical equipment. And he pointed out to me that this particular rooftop exhaust fan timer was broke. One of the other things we noticed is that the third floor is always too hot and the second floor is always too cold. So what I would do is I would take my CO2 meter and I would measure the air temperature, the relative humidity, and the CO2 levels. And that allows me to verify the actual readings of the space against the actual ash ray and decast standards. And once that I determine that we're out of variance, I'm able to further diagnose that possibly the equipment needs some maintenance, such as a rebalancing of the ductwork, cleaning of the compressors, and, and things of that nature, so that we can fine tune the equipment. If, if one space is getting a lot of cold air and another space is getting is, is too warm that means that your equipment pro possibly your distribution in the duct work is not adequately balanced well since we've adjusted and repaired the uh, timer for the rooftop exhaust fan we've seen a steady 10 to 15 percent decrease in kilowatt consumption based on the same time period the year prior unfortunately recently we saw a spike between the two months and I had to go back and, and relook at the equipment and we discovered that a pin on the timer had worked its way loose. So we had that repaired and as a preventive measure we've installed padlocks on all of our timers to prevent any tampering or you know just just to protect it in general to make sure that the cover stays closed and that the timer functions the way it's supposed to and we actually realize the energy reduction that we had been obtaining all along. The, the primary tool for any facility manager is to inventory the equipment, inventory your staff, interview your staff, and take measurements so that you can, you can kind of guide or drive the building. If, if, if you look at a building operating system as a vehicle, it kind of gives you that sense of direction that you need to make sure that you're fine tuning your equipment and, and you're actually energy efficient. The other challenge has been training custodial staff, but once you train them to be building operators, they take on a new sense of pride and empowerment. They, they now know how to operate a building, they feel more professional and, and they gain a certain degree of confidence. They're no longer just the guys that are swinging the mop. They're now a professional building operator. And if, if you look at a person that's untrained, I mean, you put them in a position where people are gonna ask them to do things, they're gonna ask them questions, they're not gonna have the answers, but when you empower them with the skill and the knowledge, they can actually do it, they'll do it with pride. So I think the BOC program is a tremendous confidence builder and it's a win all the way around for city employees. Well my life's experience has been in order to manage something you have to inventory it so that you can measure it and if you can't inventory and measure the variance in the set point or whatever the goal is you want to achieve in a given task you're not going to be able to manage it very effectively. And I have quarterly facility management meetings with the program staff so that I get their buy-in and they can understand what's being consumed and what's not. So that what that does is it gives them a sense of responsibility to help us when equipment's not being used to go ahead and shut it off so that we save energy. Mm -hmm.